In this video, I'll look at the question of what's the gauge pressure under a cube of metal? So, in this example, 0.2 meters cube. So that means every side of the cube, 0.2 meters. Because a cube is defined as having all the lengths the same. All right, so we've got a cube like that. It's made of aluminum. And so what I did was I looked up the density of aluminum. It's 2,700 kilograms per cubic meter. So 2,700 kilograms per cubic meter. All right, so now the question is asking the gauge pressure underneath. So what's the pressure at the bottom of this thing? There are a couple of different ways to do it. One way we can approach it is to say, well, I know that the pressure is defined as force per area. So if I can figure out how much force is applied at the bottom of this and the area at the bottom, then I can find the pressure. So the force is created by the force of gravity acting on it. So that would be the mass of the block times g and then divided by the area of the bottom. Well, the area of the bottom, that's the same as the top here. So it's a square, 0.2 meters by 0.2 meters. So it's that length squared. All right, so what is the mass? We aren't given the mass, we're given the density. <laughs> so now we have to know that the density is mass per volume. We don't know the mass. Uh, we do know the density, and we can figure out the volume. So the mass is actually, if I rearrange this, rho times v. So mass is rho v g over l squared. And the volume of a cube is length times width times height. So that is rho l cubed g over l squared. Some of the l's cancel. So that's rho l g. Now that's interesting because we have a different mathematical model. We use this one and that one. We also have one that says pressure is rho g h, where h is the amount of stuff above. Okay, rho g h is pressure. And here pressure is rho g l, where l is the height above it. So actually, I didn't need to give you this. You could have figured out this equation by manipulating these two. So these two mathematical models together give you this one. You could have just approached it directly this way as well. Why don't we go ahead and do it that way? Doesn't matter, they're really both the same. So the density, 2700 kilograms per meter cubed, G 9.8 meters per second squared, H 0 0.2 meters. And that is 5,290. What are the units here? These are all SI units, kilograms, meters, seconds. So when you work these all out, this is a kilogram meter per second squared. That's a Newton. This is a meter on top and meter cube on the bottom. So that's meter squared on the bottom. So this is Newtons per square meter. And there's actually an SI unit for that. It's called the Pascal. So Newtons per square meter is 5,290 pascals. Pascals are capital P, small a. All right. We figured out the pressure now. Is this the gauge pressure or the absolute pressure? It asks for gauge pressure. We didn't take into account that atmosphere is also pushing down on the top of it. So we've not put atmospheric pressure in. That means this is the gauge pressure. To find out what the absolute pressure is, you would take this and add one atmosphere to it. 